The fifth race on the program is a merit-rated 82 handicap for fillies and mares. They're going to race over 1,000 metres. It's going to be quick, this race. Don't blink, you'll miss it. At this point in time, no scratchings. Graham, I think Teddy Prince do could be a stable to follow. We fancy one of his horses a little earlier on. And I think we both fancy this horse number three, Miss Generosity. And that last run over 1,200 metres when Samanga Kumala rode her was an excellent effort. She hit the front. She tired in the closing stages. I'm thrilled to see them reduced to 1,000 metres. And I'm even more happy to see Samanga Kumala keep the ride. They've got a neat draw. You know, the last time she won, albeit 282 days ago, she beat Naomi or Numi. Richard Ferry rode her, and she impressed me on that occasion. Since then, one or two runs that have been a, were a bit below par, but she's doing well as Philly. And chatting to uh, Tinny on many occasions, you know, she's won two. She's going to win a few more. She can run a little bit. She's a good sprinter. Yeah, I'm also in the camp of number three, Miss Generosity. But that being said, this is the hardest race in the card for me. It's the toughest race in the card. And uh, as evidenced by the betting, they're betting four to one the field. The favourite, in fact, is number seven. It must be love at four to one. There's so much form around the likes of Miss Generosity, Nakia, It Must Be Love, Beat It, Wiz of Odds, Retail Therapy. Uh, they appear to be the leading contenders, but an upset cannot be ruled out. But last time when we chatted about Miss Generosity and she was running over 1,200 metres, I made the point then that if that was over 1,000 metres, when Flashy Katrina won, I would have been in her camp. Uh, she ra was run out of it in the closing stages, but ran a brave race over the, over the 1,200. She comes back to her favourite trip here. But, you know, she's no good thing. She's priced up 7 to 1. I think it's great value at 7 to 1. Uh, but, you, you know, her form with Beta is close. Whiz of odds, it must be love. Retail therapy absolutely is in the form of her life. And uh, Nakia, in fact, uh, Miss Generosity, uh, and uh, that sort of form is very close. So it's hard to single out uh, and nail your colours to the mast. I do think Miss Generosity offers good each way value at 7 to 1. But for me, toughest race on the card. OK, two interesting runners before we wrap this race. Number 12, Karat, now is returning from a bit of a rest uh, and has since moved provinces. And what's jumped out at me is on two occasions she's finished close up behind Iris. And Iris has since come out and won a little feature race in Port Elizabeth. So that can only have done the form good. So maybe respect number 12, Karat. The fact that she's drawn 12 obviously is an issue. Number one, Nina Amelia, Paul Matchett's horse, is also returning from a bit of a rest. Last couple of runs have been a bit below par, but Musi Yeni knows her well, uh, having ridden her five times for two wins in a place, so she could also run well. So yes, I agree with you. Although we do like Miss Generosity, goodness gracious me, there are plenty others that can lower her colours. You've mentioned number one, Nina Amelia, number two, French Fling, number 12, Karat. Those fillies have never raced in the province before, so they all bring either high felt or Western Cape form into the race. And any of those form lines could be stronger than what they meet here in this event. So I think this, I think there are races, this is quite a punter friendly card in my view. I think there are many races which you can narrow down. I think this is a race where you need to include the field. Okay, there we go. So although our first choice is Miss Generosity, tough, tough, tough. Get out of the bank manager, ask him to increase that overdraft.